The formation of a continental agency has been a talking point after African states expressed some concern over international rating agencies' negative assessments. Some African countries say these assessments have negatively impacted on foreign direct investment and hampered access to finance. Our business reporter Wandiswa Ndengeto filed this report. Some analysts have warned that the influence of international credit ratings agencies is rapidly growing across the African continent, giving countries limited control over their access to finance. There are already small credit ratings agencies and a large entity is proposed as an alternative to the dominance of international credit ratings agencies. This institution is long overdue. Uh, though there are some who pursue a liberal stance who say uh, those who utilize uh, ratings will not be in a position to trust this uh, institution. But uh, uh, I must say uh, there is a huge appetite in terms of market appetite. The work of uh, creating an institution like that it goes through policy organs. So uh, we have developed a study and made recommendation to that effect. It's uh, either going to be set up as an independent institution or as an organ, a full, uh, fully integrated organ of uh, the AU, or it's going to be a collaboration with an existing agency. It's, uh, it's going to take a long time. The call for alternatives is not new. Three years ago, the BRICS bloc also proposed the formation of an independent credit agency. The sentiment for African countries that are bidding for a regional ratings agency is that such an initiative would give investors an in-depth view of the economic landscape in each country. What is important is that uh, uh, the analytical independence of the rating agency is quite important perhaps to ensure that uh, it is impartial. Uh, we need to ensure that uh, it adhere to regulations, uh, that there should be regulations that ensure that rating, a rating agency is held accountable for its uh, rating outcome or rating analysis. And I think uh, uh, what is currently happening is that uh, with the existing uh, rating agencies that are mainly based in the U.S., is that uh, outside Europe and outside uh, the uh, United States, you cannot really hold them accountable. There has been criticism of uh, the rating agencies that uh, they do not have sufficient insight in order to do an analysis on the economies of uh, sub-Saharan Africa. African credit ratings analysts say while the qualitative factors are judged purely based on the ideology of the credit analysts, their perception towards the political institutions in Africa is generally negative. The sentiment on the ground is that international rating agencies have downgraded more countries than they have upgraded over the past years. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I am Wandi Swandengendo in Johannesburg.